Hello friends, in this video we will learn the theory of an AND gate and we will also observe the output of an AND gate practically. Here is the logic symbol of an AND gate. An AND gate has two input terminals and one output terminals. There are also AND gates with more than two terminals. The behavior of a logic gate can be expressed by its truth table. Here is the truth table of an AND gate. From here we can see that when we apply 0 at terminal A and 0 at terminal B, then we will get 0 at the output. It is just like simple multiplication. 0 into 0 equal to 0. That is why we have written the output of an AND gate is A into B. Similarly, when we apply 0 at terminal A and 1 at terminal B, we will get 0 at the output because 0 in, into 1 is also 0. Similarly, 1 into 0 is 0 and at last 1 into 1 equal to 1. From this truth table, we can see that for an AND gate, we will get 1 at the output if and only if both the, both the input terminals are 1. In the market, AND gates are available as integrated circuits. An AND gate can also be implemented using diodes, transistors, etc. Here is a diagram of an AND gate IC. Every IC has its own number. The number of AND gate IC is 7408. In an AND gate IC, here we can see 4 AND gates are there. When we keep the IC like this by keeping the cut mark to the left side, we can see the first pin is pin number 1. The next one is 2 and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. So the last pin is pin 14. From this IC diagram, we can see that for the first and from this IC diagram, we can see that for the first AND gate, pin number 1 and 2 is the input and 3 is the output. To observe the output of an AND gate, we have to first insert the AND gate IC into the breadboard. We have kept the cut mark to the left side. So this pin is pin 1 and the next one is pin 2 and so on. Now the pin 7 is the ground pin. That means we have to connect it to the negative terminal of the battery. Pin number 14 is the VCC pin. That means we have to connect this pin to the positive terminal of the battery. According to the datasheet, the maximum voltage applied to an AND gate IC should not be more than 5.25 volt. Therefore, it is recommended to use a 5 volt battery. We can also use 6 volt battery. But in the market, this type of 9 volt batteries are easily available. We can directly connect this battery to our AND gate IC, but sometimes it may damage the IC. So we have to convert this 9V battery to 5V or 6V by using different techniques. We will use 3 one kilohm resistors to convert the 9V to 6V. Insert these two 1K resistors in series. Then connect another 1K resistor in series with this and insert the another terminal to here. Now connect the positive terminal of the battery to this terminal of this resistor and connect the another terminal to here. Now we will get 6 volt across this row, this row and this row. 
this row act as a vcc row and this row act as a ground row now connect this 7 pin to ground and 14 pin to vcc now we will insert two wires at pin number one and uh, another one to pin number two so that this one will act as terminal a and this one second one act as terminal b now we will observe the output at pin number three that is here so so we will connect a wire and we will connect it to any point of breadboard then we will connect the positive terminal that is longer terminal of an 5 mm 5 mm led and we will connect the another terminal to any point of breadboard then from the negative terminal we have to connect a 100 ohm resistor to protect this 5 mm led and we have to connect the another terminal to ground now our circuit is ready now we will observe the out now from the truth table we can see when a is 0 0 means we have to connect it to ground then b is 0 0 means we have to connect it to ground so the output should be 0 that is why the led is now in off state now we will test for the second set of input that is 0 1 0 means we have to connect it to ground it is already grounded and second one should be at 1 1 means we have to connect it to vcc so in this case also that led is turned off because this is output is 0 then for the third set of input we can see a is 1 that is we have to connect it to sorry we have to connect it to vcc 1 means vcc and uh, b is 0 that means we have to connect it to uh, ground so output is in this case also 0 now we will test for the last set that is 1 and 1 a is 1 b is also 1 we have to connect it a to vcc and b to also vcc now we can see the output is 1 therefore we can say when both the inputs are 1 then and get output is 1 otherwise 0 thank you for watching if you like our videos then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also buy electronics components projects modules boards sensors from our website www.dbbtechnology.com thank you